在高岗眺望北京。Hello everyone, my name is Nopeda, and on the Nairai Games for Fun, so what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to be going, oh, we're going to be working on Quang Sha. As you can see, I did, I did a little bit of art, I added a little bit of artwork, I also added in the lore section. Lore section is pretty simple, pretty much, there was a giant uh, civil war in the Imperial State, which is pretty much Chimerica. Uh, giant civil war happened, we beat the rebels, however, uh, in exchange for that, the government was like, well, shit, we can't, we can't beat the rebels, they have kung fu people. So they're like, oh, we'll just hire, we'll pretty much just give everyone amnesty in the martial world, as is pretty common in wuxia fiction. You know, where all the cool stuff happens is in real society, it's the martial world. And that happened, and then after the war, the government was like, psych, bitch, <laughs> and they got fucked, and... Most of them fled out west, to the land of milk and honey, and that's literally the, the lore, They're, that's it. And you can say, like, just, lore here is quite literally to justify a cowboy wuxia game. Nothing more, nothing less, I wrote it at 3am. 
that's it. Um, the only like the only like major requirements I have for like the Lord actually make this work is gunslinging martial arts are one and the same. Embrace the idea when it comes to philosophy of the gun, because I have to write the cultivation stuff today probably. And once I write the cultivation stuff, it's literally going to be a battle philosophy of the gun. Uh, yeah, China, America. Lawmen, inspectors, anyone else who can manifest, is ready to manifest the mandate of Earth and Heaven. Because, yeah, it's manifest destiny, except it's manifesting the mandate of Heaven. Because I thought that would be a stupid way of boarding it. Hello, Salmon. Uh, your characters are gun heroes, taking the first steps being gunslinging Gia. They can and will punch bullets out of the air. And I do specifically say gravitate toward comedic, but then you doesn't mean you can't be more serious but it kind of works best when you again it's jackie chan with a big iron uh outside of that i did decide to add in one thing i haven't written it in yet but i decided on it and that's the idea of backgrounds which how i'm going to do backgrounds is pretty much you could say everyone starts with just one background and anytime it comes up it's going to be like I'm, I'm going between, like, anytime it comes up, you just add a D8, or it's kind of like a skill itself. It starts at D4, D6, D8, D10. Kind of how extreme the background is and how important it is to you, how you, how you operate. Uh, one thing that I was going to do, it would be something like, most of the time it's going to be like, oh, I'm a, let's see, I'm a black, you know, I'm a black iron, black iron swordsman. You know, actually be a black iron gunslinger. D8. Like, any time being a black iron gunslinger po comes up, you can roll it. Not necessarily, like, that, or it would be like, I'm a, you know, white glove inspector. Because not white hat, white glove. And, you know, D8 or something. That's what I was thinking for backgrounds. Just something to give characters a little bit more personality. Because, like, that's the one thing I'm really scared about with this game is that it's going that individual characters are going to lose a lot of their personality. That's actually like a big fear of mine. Um, however, we're not going to start off necessarily doing this. I want to start off by doing something a little bit different because I was looking for artwork. Because fun fact kids, this is not exactly what we would like to call a uh, big thing. This isn't like a really common, you know, franchise I can just click on and say here it is aha so in kind of a a, a blind hope I, I just typed in western wuxia or you know it was a wuxia western that's what I typed in initially and this popped up far west and I was curious I'm like far west and I looked at some of the I'm like oh this looks kind of exactly up my alley. This is almost exactly what I was looking to do. Like, oh. This is also something I was planning on doing. God damn it. But I was like, oh, this seems kind of interesting. So I did a little digging. This is Far West, a Western Wuxia mashup adventure game. I'm like, oh no, someone already did what I was doing. And I was actually kind of bummered out. I'm like, ah, I thought I had something pretty unique here. Um, then I learned what happened. So I hit comments. Obviously, go to comments. Form is now broken too. If nothing else has met our current expectations. Expect nothing and I'm still let down. Postponed again with a tweet. And I'm thinking like, 2019 maybe you know maybe it's like a two-year thing um no 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 this this project was back in 2011 uh yeah this is a 2011 game i had gone fully funded and 717 backers with forty nine thousand dollars and as you can kind of see here, by this Gareth Michael Sakara, I think it's Sakara, Skarka, Skarka, Sakra, Gareth Michael Sakara, uh, 717 backers, 49,000, only out of 5,000, know, that's all he needed, he needed $5,000, and he did it, and generally speaking, this is exactly what I was looking to do, however, 
one thing that kind of hit me was like is a transmedia project that's the first really like that's the first one of the magic like the first things you see a transmedia project uh i did a little digging and uh here we are in 2021 10 years a decade the original far west kickstarter was in 2011 the game never came out uh, the game has, yeah, this, we, you know, we're in the home stretch. The, let's see, this the home stretch blog post was from 2015. We're in the home stretch, everybody. 2015. So, like, okay, what's the most recent one? Mind you, that's four, four down. That's four down. Like, this isn't like this hasn't been updated really at all. This is 2021. This came out in. February 2021. February. That's nuts. Even thinking about it. Uh, fi the year Far West finally gets released. It did not get released. It is not out yet. He has been delayed again. And I looked at the guy. This is the guy. This is Gareth M. Skarka. Skarka. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a human being on the internet, all right. And I'm like, all right, like, this is cool. Like, he does a lot of stuff. Designer, like, he's a, he's a game designer. Like, that's the first thing you really see about him. Writer, game designer, consultant, publisher, he, him, loudmouth, socialist, agitator, uh, anti-fashion, and abolitionist. Yeah, he's a, um, uh, he's a real class act. <laughs> And this is his thing. You know, what's his current project? Uh, Far West, comic work, unannounced fiction projects. Like, all right. Like, what is this guy actually written? I was actually like, this name sounds awfully familiar. Like, really familiar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he he wrote Hong Kong Action Theater. He co-wrote Skull and Bones. Uh, Mystic Vistas, and he's done a lot of other things, because apparently he's co-designed the Doctor Who game, the Star Trek game, he has done the Final, uh, not the Final Fantasy, the um, FFG, uh, Fantasy Flight, Fantasy Flight Games version of Legend of the Five Rings, like, this guy's a, like, a legit, de like, developer, this is, like, a legit human being who does game design stuff, and that's weird to think, uh, but, like, right here, right, Kickstarter came, uh, the role-playing intended for release December 2011, but still complete as a 10th anniversary of the project's successful funding. You'll release the product despite the fact no progress has been demonstrated for over a decade. I don't get this guy. Like, it, it's really weird. Like, this guy's worked on a bunch of stuff, but this is the one game that has never come up. And he posts all the time on fucking Twitter. And, like, this was, yeah, this was two hours ago. Like, this guy never shuts up, rather than, I think, writing or doing anything like that. And I was fascinated by it. Uh, absolutely fascinated by this man. Because it's... Hmm? Like, who are you? Like, who, what, what do you do? Why are you the way that you are? And, yeah, he is a very political man. And fucking fortunately, God, I hate political people at this point. And this is coming from a political scientist. But yeah, no, this is what this guy has done. He does exactly what I was wanting to do. And here apparently is another one, Red Ram... W4 Adventure Generic Starter Scene. Uh, this is for Wired Wild West. Weird Wusha Wild West. Uh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> but yeah, like... Oh, it's two pages. Okay, it's not really a game then. Cool. Poggers. But yeah, that's, a, that's kind of a little case. A mini case, you could say. Just this guy is a strange duck. We learned a little bit about Far West. And I might do another Kickstarter video, actually. Of just going through and just... 
learning about it. Because apparently, let's see, the, uh, the form died. Yeah, pfft. The form is dead. So we have nothing there. What's the Far West Society? Fan membership community available via subscription. Has the ability to add material to the official Far West canon. Let's, how, how, what do I need to do to get the official Far West membership? $10 plus $10 for six months. Absolutely not. Uh, what's the downloads? I can buy a fucking this, I guess. Once Upon a Star, you know, you can buy the album for $5 for five songs. Uh, Tales of the Far West, which is a book. And... Adamant Entertainments. <laughs> Show me who you are. Amble's map. Like, what's Adamant Entertainment? Like, who are you guys? Let's... Apparently, these are the guys working on it. Or at least the head guy. So what... <laughs> Skull and Bones... Um, oh, that's not a good sign. Adam, expanding list of properties include crit crit critically acclaimed thrilling tales, Mars, pulp series, Far West, even though it's not out, uh, the forthcoming Tales of New Cruzbon, a licensed uh, buckaroo bonsai, like Tales of, let's see, has this ever come out? No. Okay, so that never happened. Uh, let's do Buckaroo Bonsai. What happened to Buckaroo Bonsai? Uh, 2011. Wherefore art thou, Buckaroo Bonsai? You're like, Tales of New Cruise Von, uh, Great Grand Brewing out there somewhere, but no one knows if we'll get a taste of it. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, right here, where art thou, this is the same site where I kind of was going under, like, yeah, like, even though down Mark prior to the fire, far west fiasco, why is this, uh, Yeah, so. Okay, so, like, what? I don't understand these people. Yeah, the concept actually, like, um, hello, Sir Salamander. Uh, the concept looks super interesting. Shame nothing came of it. Yeah, I think, I, I think there, there's two things that could occur. Because I was reading some bits and pieces about it. And what I managed to put together was that he was working with a bunch of people, and then one of his friends died, that kind of put everything on hold for a while, and then he decided to rewrite and do everything himself. And, yeah, like, rewrite the entire game. And he decided to use the Open D6 system. If you've never heard of Open D6, it's a really pretty solid system. Um, open source I guess you'd call it open source, but like open D6, it's right here. You can get everything. It's based off the old West End Games book. Uh, that's what he said he was going to use, but I am not. Am I hopeful? Am I going to go out there, jump up, and say it's going to happen? I don't think so. I honestly don't think it's going to happen. Also, thank you for following. Uh, I honestly don't believe it'll happen. West, yeah, West End did Star Wars. West End did do Star Wars. Uh, yeah, the original Star Wars D6 system was that, and I believe it was the, if I believe that, if I got my timeline correct, I, I'm looking at a few West End games this weekend, actually, so I've been having to do a little bit of research. Um... They got the license for Star Wars. They ended up making a Ghostbusters game, which was really popular. 
they then kind of formalized everything down into the official, you could say, uh, D6 system, which went public, which went open domain in like 2006-ish, around that time, because the lead developer was like, I didn't, like, I don't trust myself with D6. Like, the tragedy of West End games is a nightmare on wheels. Like, you'll read it, and you're like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> like you you want to believe, like, it just isn't real. Based on, like, just the quality of stuff that they actually had, and just watching it crumble. It was actually kind of sad. But yeah, no, this is far west. I don't really think it's going to happen, but I think it's, I think he's also kind of on the same, I think he is on the same caliber as, um, what's his name, um, Third Act Publishing, and the, the complete disaster area that is third, yeah, that is three act, you know, Third Act Publishing. Which is a bizarre, bizarre situation of failed Kickstarters, of just bad ideas, and wrestling lessons. <laughs> That's kind of the summary there. Have you ever heard of the tragedy of West End Games? The unfortunate. It's not a. It's not a story. The game. The game industry would like to tell you. Yeah, it's like oh god. See. This weekend, I'm going over a bunch of franchise games, and there were a lot of franchise games that popped up during the 80s. Um, of the three, there's three of them we're going, there's three in particular we're going over, uh, all of which were either fundamental, a part of, or the beginning of the death of the company itself. One of which is the Dallas RPG. If you ever want to look at something completely bizarre, like just weird. Look at the Dalit. Look at SPI games. They'll pop up. They're old war game developer, and Dallas. It is the strangest story. It is the weirdest people, and the game is jank as fuck. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about that. That's for this Saturday at noon EST. Wink. But let's see what we need to do. We need to do backgrounds. Backgrounds, chi, and styles. So, let's let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Technically, that wouldn't be to be to beat the Mongols in this version, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll do backgrounds. So, a a gun here is a complicated is a complicated creature, one born of warfare, warfare and conflict. Uh, as actually, each gun he, each gun hero has a story to tell. Tell and a destiny to write, and a destiny to write. Uh, their background, their background, uh, being a crucial part of why, of why they are here, and how they choose to approach the situation. Pretty much the idea, what I want for backgrounds, this is kind of a separation factor, but I also want the idea that you're slowly building your character as it goes, whether or not, like, we did a thing in this town and I want to add a background because of it, or you're revealing more about your character as it kind of goes on. It starts out being like, oh, I'm a, I'm a just, I'm a lawman, you know, I'm, I'm a man of the law, and I'm gonna blast you a new one with my kung fu gun powers uh but it slowly developed being like i was in the war i was a fight you know i was a member of the golden palm which was the bad which was the rebellion effectively and i did all these terrible things and this is my this is my repentance that's kind of like what i want backgrounds to feel like be like oh we're learning about this character a lot more we're learning about him and watching him suffer because we find that amusing <laughs> So I choose the approach to situation. A gun hero begins pl begins with a single defining background. What the hell is going on out there? 
every now and again, I hear awful noises outside my apartment. And I always have to wonder, like, is someone getting shot? Is someone injured? What's going on? Someone was asking if they would buy bath water. And I remember God is dead. Every day we stray further from God's light. So, uh, a gun here begins with a single defining background there. Their story begins begins here in blood, in either bloodshed, bloodshed, or... Actually, no, their story begins there and will only continue to develop. Will only continue to develop. Uh, the gun here, uh, the gun, the background, each back, each background, each background. No, 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 no. We're not doing that here. No, no. Let's see, each background is actually. Okay, uh, each background is assigned is assigned a die value from D4 distant memory uh, distant memories to D12 defi uh, defining history actually uh, actually no uh, assigned a die value from D4 to D12 reflecting the care reflecting the gun hero hero's reliance actually the gun hero's um how do i want to how do i want to word this background assigned a die value from d4 to d12 reflecting the gun hero's ability uh, uh, reflecting how how important the background is is to the gun hero's story so it's kind of the idea like at D, if you keep something at D4 for a while, it's kind of the idea, like, it's it's sometimes brought up, but not really that often. Uh, let's see. Again, here begins with single, uh, single defining background. The story begins there and will continue to develop. This begins at a D8. Whenever, whenever a back, whenever a background, I probably don't remember to freaking capitalize this. Bakra, Bakra, whatever my Bakra around. I need to learn Bakra, actually. I've been meaning to learn more gambling games because I enjoy. Ga I'm one of those. I enjoy gambling. I just like playing blackjack. I think that blackjack's just fun to play. So whenever a background becomes relevant, they may add it to add it to their role. Add it to their role. But background, but backgrounds. Actually, no. They may add it to the role, including during combat. Which is kind of the idea. Like, one of the core concepts of the game, what I want to get across, mostly when we get to, like, the advancement and, like, how to build up your cultivation die, is you are not a weapon. That's, the, that's kind of the, not really the joke per se, but that's kind of, like, one of the more overarching philosophical beats of the game is that everyone is a gun that's how everyone perceives their martial arts everyone is a gun what are what do guns do do guns hurt people well guns hurt people they are means of you know of violence and things like their means of defense they're a means to enact violence but it's kind of learning more about that and kind of becoming more important to the concept of it is how you kind of build your cultivation die up. You start by thinking, I am a weapon, but you slowly begin to develop like, hey, a gun actually has more importance value. It might be a symbol. It might be a way to help other people. It might just be an art piece. It could just simply be a way, it's a craftsman's art. It's something that I've built up and it's not about just being a weapon. It's about being something more than a weapon. What does a gun represent more than anything? So that's what kind of like what I kind of want to bring up here a little bit. Like your background means more. You're not just a warrior. 
But if you choose to have a background of a warrior, it makes complete sense. But you're probably going to want to develop a little bit more. And sometimes you can. Uh, including during, com uh, during combat. A carrot. Uh, background backgrounds come in all shapes and forms. Actually, comes in all. Uh, uh, actually, backgrounds are actually the starting. Let's see, the starting background. Background is the history. Is the history actually? No, no. How do I want to word this? Backgrounds can be almost any. Can be almost anything but are often careers, choices, or defining features, uh, or defining events of the, of the gun hero, or the gun hero's life. There we go. Gun, hero, gun hero's life. More backgrounds, I always remember to capitalize, more backgrounds can be added, added from their from their past or current lives, current lives through advancement, through advancement, becoming more relevant, becoming more relevant, or or coming back to haunt them. There we go. When Haya meets, yeah, pretty much when Haya meets Yeehaw. So we want to put. Can I fit all this? Damn it. <laughs> Damn my my verbose writing style. Uh, if we do that, we do you. If I put you up here, uh, you're going to be too big. But I can then put a piece of artwork right here and a little piece right there. Okay, so this is fine. I try. I'm trying to like bring a good mix of Western, and I found a, this like this is actually a setting on a, a thing on Behance. Uh, this guy did a few pieces of kind of Western Western mix meets Chinese art, and I thought that was pretty cool. Our, our sample gun hero, choosing his skills. Yep, this is kind of a basic skill setup. Cool. Now we have to do chi, which I could not find a good word to do chi. <laughs> I will never be hussy. You will never do it. Yeah, no. Uh, I decided to go for the. The side one of the story of the good, the bad, and the and the Gia, which is the story of the good, the bad, and the hero, in rough, in, in bastardized Chinese. This is literally <laughs> because Gia, the term Gia is actually really fascinating in China in Chinese because it's like it it's more about the idea of being a person outside of authority rather than being like strictly a hero or strictly a villain. It's you kind of do your own thing. Uh, also, as a side note, for skills, I added the mysticism skill because sorcerers are actually fairly um, important. Uh, Qi Hong. Yeah, to a degree. Like, they're common. Like, they're not, like, super common, but they are there. Uh, Chung Xia. Or Chung Sha. Uh, literally, this is just gun hero. So it's just gun and hero. That's literally all it is. Welcome to bastardized Chinese with notepad. <laughs> uh, chi. Actually, uh, chi. Actually, uh, yeah. No, we'll do chi. Uh, chi power. Uh, a a gun. Actually, give me a second. Actually, a gun, a, a gun is, a gun is useless without a firing mechanism. Every fire, every firearm, every firearm needs this essential, this essential trigger to make, to make it truly a weapon to be feared. Chi is Chi represents the flowing life life force of the gun hero, uh, allowing allowing the mystic energies around them around them to 
blow through the body. Through the body. Allowing the mystic energies to flow through the body. And uh, I don't want to do this. Um, you ever worked? <laughs> yeah, no, that's the uh, that's the notepad document. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, as you can tell, I have this notepad document up and running because this is actually how I like to write most things. Uh, if I make it any smaller, it kind of gets a little hard to read. So I usually try to keep it like decent size, usually about like this. I can just click this button and make it go away. Yo, well, well, welcome to my bullshit stream, Sir Salamander. God help you all. I don't know how you got here, but you're here now. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes yeah, sometimes you gotta keep the the theming correct. See, if I wanted to be a real VTuber, if I wanted to be a real real anime girl. Like technically, I would make the screen like this size. I'd put this right here. I'd be like about this size. There'd be like some quirky background. Like that's how I would do like the legit like VTuber way, the way of the VTuber. But um. I am not, as you can tell, I'm not really the, I'm not like the other girls, <laughs> as I am not one. No worries. It, it's a weird method, it's a weird setup, and I've been always, like, debating it, like, if there, is there, like, a better way of setting things up? And, not really, there isn't really a better setup. It's like how I have to use Google Docs for everything. My, the cursed existence of Google Docs. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. Allowing the mystic energies to flow. So you want TG first. God, you found me on TG. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Mystic energies around to flow through the body. And I assume in, I, I'm going to make a random guess the homebrew thread. Like, that's the usual place where people find me. Allowing the mystic energy to flow through the body, and... The gun hero... To, em embra to embrace its power. There we go. Uh, see, I always like knowing where people find me from, because I'm like, where are people finding me? Are people posting things about me? I'm like... Can I capitalize on this? Because I'm a game design mercenary first. Like, that is what I am first. To embrace its power. Oh, God. I had a sandwich. I had a 7-Eleven sandwich before this. And my gut is and my gut is feeling it. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to let me just go. Actually, we don't need to... Chi, uh, Chi is one, Chi is what? <laughs> it's always one of the culture war threads. That is my most viewed video by far. Uh, people bring it up very often. That might have been one that I went over the, uh, the expansion pack. Um, some people don't really get... Yeah, Mr. White, you're on the you're on the right track with the gunpowder of the soul. But yeah, yeah, it's like usually with the TSL video, people don't understand. Like people think it's like culture war, culture war. I hate SJWs. Like my thing with TSL will always be I don't hate it because of that. I hate it because it's the laziest piece of garbage I've ever had the displeasure of reading. Uh, let's see. He is what separates a regular a regular person from. From the from the gun from the gun heroes from the gun heroes allowing me she's what separates regular person from the gun heroes a reservoir a reservoir of power that can be used for any can be used for any role of of their choice. Uh, the catch, the catch. Chi is a chi is a river. Chi is a river, a firing, me a firing mechanism. 
Chi is a actually no chi is Chi is like gunpowder. Chi is like gunpowder. Once spent, once spent, it'll 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 disappear. It's, it'll disappear until it's refilled. Uh, at, actually, we're actually going to do. I'm going to make this session based because I want that. I think that's an okay. Let's see. At the at the start of every session, at the start of every session, each of the gun hero, each of the gun heroes, each of the gun heroes have a D12 in their chi. D12 in the uh, D12 chi. Chi die of D12 Chi. And it can be roll it can be rolled. Yeah, technically. Yeah, gun heroes. This is not real gun heroes isn't a word. <laughs> Let's see. It can be okay, it can be added to any roll of their choice. It can be added to it can be added to any roll of their choice, but when added, it reduces the die, si die size by one step. D12, so D12 to uh, D12 to D10. I'm also writing fast. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and other and other ways to counter. <laughs> Let's see, um, let's see, at the start of every session, each gun here has D12 Chi and add it to any roll of their choice. We'll add it to or reduce the die size by one step. Okay. Uh, the gun hero, the gun hero can use their, can use their Chi die, die as long as it has a, has a fit, as well as long as, Let's see, a gun hero can use their chi die as long as they possess it. As long as they... Ugh, how do I want to word... Actually, by one step, down to down to d4. After using after using the d4 chi, chi die, chi die, it can no longer... It can no longer... Longer be used by the gun hero. So one of the things what I what the goal here anyway the the my mind's eye at least is that you have this very powerful ability right off the bat and you want to use it you're encouraged to use it because you're just going to get back next session so you always are kind of want to use it but it's like when do you choose to use it do you save it for combat do you choose to use it to pass some certain checks or it's pretty much your power die, and like it's slowly ticking down, and it's like, mm, do I want to use it now? Mm, do I want to do that later? And since it's session based, it's you can if you cut off at a certain time, like we're gonna cut the session right before the big final encounter, or like the big fight with the boss. Next session, everyone's gonna get their chi power back to allow them to kind of do more impressive things, which is appropriate for kind of the movie thing I'm going for. In the Magnificent Seven, everybody, yo, know, kind of gets their second win when we have the, the encouragement. Everyone gets their chi bag, and that's when everyone starts gunslinging and being a badass. That's the point. Uh, let's see, down to D4 after using D4. Chi die is going to no longer be used with a gun here. Because if we use... Separates a regular person. Technically, I should just call this Chi, but I think Chi power looks a little nicer, to be honest. So I think our final one we need to worry about is styles. No, cultiv. Do I have cultivation? I have the cultivation. Yeah, cultivation's right here. Uh, we have to use. Yeah, we have these styles. 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 A gun, a gun hero is defined by by many things, but their but their style is one. A marsh a martial style is a method of expression for 
uh, for the gun hero, a p train training, actually extreme, extreme training, mystic arts, impeccable skill, impeccable, impeccable skills, and gunslinging talents. Gunslinging, gunslinging, that's some, one of those weird words, gunslinging talents. Ancient school, ancient schools, mystic cards, impeccable skills, and gunslinging talents are all are all part of, of a style. The actually the gun hero is a unique is a unique soul as well. Is a unique soul. Their style their style morphing around who who they are, allowing even the uh, actually. Having even the closest, closest of partner, closest of partners in the same train, same with the tr same training, same training to have vastly different approaches. The style is hand is hand built by the. Actually, is built. By the gun, is built by the gun hero. Actually, the initial, the initial style is built by the gun hero themselves as a uh, defining, defining part, uh, defining moves, moves, combat, uh, moves, techniques, techniques, and even their weapon arts, and even their weapon. Out after that, they are able to further refine, further refine their style, further refine their style, as well as adopt new ones, new ones through through training, reading manual manuals of power, power, or even trying to develop their own. Actually, no. Uh, through training under Y Sifu manuals of power. That's kind of the same idea. That's kind of like what I'm going for. Let's see. All right. I thought about doing like an adrenaline system, but how I'm choosing to do this and how I kind of want the flow of a session to go is combat's going to be like a vast majority of it. Like you're going to get into combat pretty quickly and the out of combat stuff is just justifying getting to the combat a little bit more. So it's like you can burn a lot of your power already, but you should... Uh, under kind of understand like we're here for a fight kind of thing. I could probably put in an uh, like an optional adrenaline system though. That wouldn't be too difficult to do. I know how I would do it. I don't put that as a side note. Fuck it. Why? Because I can do that. Um. Uh, developing a st uh, developing a style. Will be detailed in the uh, lock and loaded, uh, lock and loaded, lock and loaded sty styles chapter, which is literally the next chapter. See, this is why I like having people like actually like here to like talk to sometimes because what I can do. We'll add a side note. We'll do side note. Adrenaline chi. Adrenaline chi. I misspelled adrenaline. Uh, should a should a campaign be more focused on? Uh, should a campaign be more focused on combat on intense combat and 
and quote real real people in in the world consider adopting consider adopting the adrenaline chi system adrenaline chi have at the at the start at the start of a combat encounter start of a combat encounter encounter every care every every gun hero has uh, is given their given their chi and treats it as no and their chi die and treats it at treats it as normal should combat should combat end with the chi die remaining meaning they may employ they may employ it employ it as usual but every every scene every scene roughly uh every scene uh or tra or transition transition to another scene uh scene etc kind of like the idea of like we're here now but every scene it decreases by by a full step my full step. Uh, this encourage this encourages. Actually, I should say is this system is far more about combat about combat and quote high intensity situations rather than the than the than the gun heroes being overly exceptional. It's exceptional most of the time. Most. Uh, most of the time depends on the tone and desired type uh, desired type of play like that's how I'm gonna do it sword master trickster royal guard royal guard royal guard yeah sorry you can't no <laughs> no Dante El Dante See, the thing is, originally this game was going to be using the um, uh, Edusius Lux. It was very close to using Edusius Lux and that system, but I, I went against it because I'm like, I want to try something brand new, brand spanking new. So here's what I can actually do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this entire section. And I'm going to put it right here instead. And then we're going to put two things down there. And we're going to call him. His background is going to be... Uh, uh, wandering Explosive Expert. Actually Wandering, actually wandering Mechanic. He's going to have a D8 in there. That's going to be his background. And then we're going to have his skills. And what else does he really have? Uh, he doesn't really have anything else because that's it's not very complicated to make a character in this game. Uh, his whole actually his cultivation. I gotta put this cultivation down. Uh, cultivate cultivation. D four. Wholeness. D twelve. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make a character. Like, it's not, the thing is, it's not actually that complicated of a system to actually make a character. I didn't want it to be very complicated. Because everything is dice rules. Like, that, we're caught, like, the actual system is you just take a bunch of, like, you have your dice pool versus a di another dice pool, and everything rolls a dice. So if I want to climb over a wall, for example, and someone actually asked, like, why do you use climbing over a wall for everything? Because it's by far the simplest idea. 
Climbing over a wall might be D10. It might be very hard. I'm gonna roll that dice. I rolled a two. Oh no. I'm gonna roll my two dice and I rolled a seven. Yay, I'm I've climbed over the wall. And that's the entire con like the entire idea behind it. Everything is dice rolls. Everything. Alright, so now we get to do the unfun part. Uh so lock and loaded. Actually, I should say, um, every gun needs a hand. Every gun needs a hand. Every every shot needs an eye. Needs to needs to be aimed. Every actually every every stock need every stock needs a hand. Every shot needs to be aimed, and every gun needs a gunslinger. Gun hero, a gunslinger. Uh, gun hero is fine, but many things. But their style is one. Is one of the most important. Or style. Okay, lock and loaded. Now, this is where things get a little bit complicated because I need to go here. Let me show. Let me show you what true autism is, everybody. Look at all these beautiful games. That I've written and that you can play for free on my website. Just yell. They're right there. For free. Or give me money on itch.io slash notepad anon. Please, I'm begging you. Uh, but we need to go to... Where are you? Where are you? Fists of... Fists of chaos. Yeah! So beast, the beast mode expansion. So, style creation. So we're gonna, I, I wanna keep the same concepts. But there, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a different approach to the same idea. So let's just do. Uh, every style is a unique expression of the school and the founder's own personal development, rather than make a list of dedicated styles. Okay, foundation. We're gonna keep it right here. Hong Kong Action Theater. So, roughly speaking. Um, so we want to do every character. So every character has around, let's say, let's say 40. 40 points to the spend. Actually, what's a, a lucky Chinese? What's a lucky Chinese number? We can actually view lucky Chinese number number 35 because 35 would be very lucky. Because 3 sounds like pinyin saying, or to life, to live, and 5 is me. Live me. Okay, three five. Thirty-five equals that. Good job, me. Good uh is there anything? Chinese numerology. Thirty-five. China thirty-five. House number thirty-five. Feng Shui. Luckiest house of the address. There we go. Thirty-five. This kids is why we consult our Chinese our Chinese numerology for all our games. If you aren't studying Chinese numerology, what are you doing with your life? So we do that, and then we have our tiers. The style broken up in different tiers. We aren't again, we're keeping the same idea. So okay. We need to define our first thing is our style style execution. Actually, I guess style method. Are we a uh, yo? Are we offensive, offenses or defensive? And that's the that's the first thing you have to define. It's gonna bar start at d6 d6, so it would be. Uh, let's see, a d6 is average. So the core idea here, the 
core concept is that your d6 let's say let's say my style is offensive d6 and then defensive d6 i could change that by saying i want to increase my offensive by two steps i want to do offensive d10 d8 d10 however i would have to lower my defensive down by two steps so it would only be d2 so now i'm kind of like I may be very strong, I can really hit you really good, but I can't defend myself very well. But my entire style is built around that concept. And maybe that's something you want to do. And that also encourages people to adopt and find new styles. That They want to find something that's going to be able to help them along. It's, you know, my style is incredibly offensive, I want to punch you in the face really fast, but I'm not really good at defending myself. Well, that's not a good sign. Give me one second, everybody. I'm alive. Uh, but yeah, no, the game in the corner there is from the Final Fantasy I really fucking hate chaos game. Chaos! Uh, and it's a fun, it's, I, I thought it was a funny, fun, it was a funny gif. So let's see, uh, cost resources, and then we can probably define style type, which is going to be light, heavy, 
light heavy external or gun focused light is going to be about movement which we can kind of incorporate into the combat system a little bit heavy is going to be about damage which we again we can kind of incorporate into the that external martial arts hard uh Improving muscular, uh, cardiovascular fitness. That's pretty much like raw improvement ability right, more than anything. So. Unless I change it a little bit. Unless we go and like gun would obviously be ranged combat. Actually, we know we can do stylish, uh, smoke and sexy style, which would be more about utility actions. Which we can probably base around vibes, so... Special moves, switching styles, and then we have to use the ammo system, the six shot style. Okay. So, we do move, we can use these as kind of like more like discount ideas, like you have a very basic one like move can do X, move does plus X. Because you don't really have health per se. How do I want to, uh, do I want to do something with the health system there? Uh, I think it's, I think that Final Fantasy game is called Final Fantasy, um, something, something, Jack, he, lis he listens to Limp Biscuit. It's going to annoy me now, Final Fantasy Chaos. Strangers in Paradise, Stranger of Paradise, that's it. Because apparently Final Fantasy is now Devil May Cry, remember that, kids. <laughs> uh, let's see, so... So, moves. Moves are gonna be built. So... So, what's a move gonna be built with, for example? So move is going to be primarily going to be their attack, the attack dice. Like, what are you actually rolling to hit that person with? Uh, we don't really have to worry about limbs, so status effects. That's going to be important. My affection for Tekken is getting the best of me. Hmm. So how do I actually look like, like... Let's say I just want to do a flying jump kick. What's that going to look like? Well, obviously we're going to be based off our... We're going to do our flying jump kick and the damage. So actually our two hit is going to be... Maybe, yeah, it's going to be our... Offensive, offensive plus... Maybe we can adopt some of the skills into this. You know, flying jump kick is going to be offensive plus with light. It's going to be a light style, so it's going to be like offensive plus like a, maybe a skill or something. Let's just do, like, I don't know, dexterity. That's our actual to hit. We're going to roll our wholeness. We're going to roll our offense. And it's going to be our offensive die. Probably sub out, so... 
are two hits. You know, dice, dice rolling to deal to hit target, and then our two damage. Because if we do that, yeah, we can use the into this like two damage. Like you hit the person, you may not actually like hurt them at all. That's gonna be a lot harder. It's gonna be like a resist check more than anything. Two damage might be dice rolling to damage target. So you know, two damage may be offensive, offensive plus like explosives or something. I don't fucking know. Actually, we can just, like, yeah, just roll offensive versus your defensive die just to see if you don't get kicked in the fucking face. And then we have, like, move two or something. Like, move, if we put on move one, it'd be move two because we already have the light. So if we do something like that. And then if we hit, and then we can do damage, obviously. Which, the idea is that most things are going to be doing damage one. Because that's one step of damage. But go from like one to, let's say four. Because four would be, you have D12, D10, D8, D6, D4. Like four, you have, actually, let's see, it'd be 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. So you have seven sets. So it would be... Technically, you can do something like this. You can do 1 to 6 damage. We do 1 to 6 damage. Oh, God. Sweet. Mu oh, sweet Christmas. <laughs> Welcome to game design with no pen and on. And then it would be the defense die status effects. To hit, then it'd be our to defend. Okay. And then range combat's roughly the same. Just be like you have to be a certain distance away. Stylish is all about having utility abilities and things like that. So flying jump kick would be like it'd be light. Two hit would be me rolling my basic dice plus offensive plus dexterity. So if my cultivation isn't very high, I'm just going to sub it out for one of these. Because I can only roll three dice. Remember, you can only roll three dice. Uh, and then we just, if we want to do damage, it would be our wholeness plus uh, cultivation plus our only our offensive dice versus their to defend. So our defensive would be like, we'll call it just... Uh, Royal Guard, which would be a heavy, like we'll call it a heavy style, which is all about the mitigation of damage, and which is the two dodge. Just not get hit at all, which you can probably just even say, no, like I'm going to get hit by it, but that's the point. And then to resist would be defensive plus like endurance or something. And. If you royal guard, you can do something else. I don't fucking know. Yeah, we can do like counter hit or something. Okay. Alright, I think I know how to do this. However... <laughs> We are going to do what we like to call the gamer move, and we're not actually going to write it as... Mostly because I just want to get this thing, like, written up into a, like, place that actually is relatively almost functional. Doesn't need to be good right now, it just needs to work. Lock and load in, so. 35 the points to spend on various moves. We could probably make it a little bit. So. Uh. 
each gun each gun hero is as unique as the guns they have they have on their as the guns they have in their on their in their holsters A gun, a gun hero's style is a reflection, is a reflection of who they are, they are, and their combat prowess. Being defensive, being defensive, offensive, stylish, and all, and all other methods of combat techniques. Techniques can apply to various attacks, Atta uh, various moves, to various styles. The gun hero, the gun hero, has learned the initial style. The initial style the gun hero possesses has thirty-five style point style points to handcraft and craft their personal method combat uh, new styles acquired new styles acquired may have more more or less of the style of these dedicated style points style points but each but allow the allow the gun hero Allow the gun hero to freely switch between them. Them in the heat of heat of combat. There we go. Problem with Final Fantasy Origin. Team Ninja. Yeah, it's Team Ninja. I I, I trust in them as much as I can throw them, but it's kind of one of those things like as long as you don't fuck it up, I mean, if you have one job, guys, don't fuck this up. So we do Nutino 12, we'll just... For those who are wondering why I'm doing this in, like, a separate document, it's literally because I'm gonna have to probably go into here about a dozen times and just tweak things. And I don't want to add it to the full document yet, so... So, we already established characters 35 points, so, first things first, so I need to actually establish you. We're going to hand build style the best way we can, heading to the match. And this is going to be style method. Style method. Each each style is first defined defined by whether an offensive or defensive one uh, offensive or defensive one. Oh. Uh, when uh, each style is defined by actually. Each style, when employed by the gun, when the gun hero has a has a um, offensive or defense, uh, actually offensive and defensive die associated with it, with it, reflecting the ability of of the style in terms of attacking or defend or defending. Not exactly the most complex thing in the world. Uh, both of these, both of these die, both of these dies begin, begin at D6, at D6. Both of these die begin at D6, but increase, but, but the, uh, gun hero can freely, ch uh, change them by, by any number of steps, any number of steps up to d12 How, however increasing one size increasing one size will decrease the other 
equal will decrease the other by by a step as well. By increasing, uh, let's see how increasing one by increasing one side by one step will decrease the other by a step as well. Uh, for for example, we're going to use uh, what's your fucking name? Uh, bai Jing Yi. No, Bai Jing Yi. For example, Bai Jing Yi. These, and yeah, we'll call it explosive. Actually, we'll do a dynam uh, dynamite, dynamite shotgun style. For example, Bai Jing Yi is dynamite shotgun style. Is all is all about the offense. Is all about the offense. While, sacri while sacrificing his own personal defense, his own personal defenses, he increases the offense, offensive, offense die by two steps. By two steps, uh, d6 goes up to d8, goes up to d10, but decreases the defense die by two. My two steps as well. And then we go from D6 to D4 to D2. Let's see. <clears throat> Beijing Yan, done with shotgun style, is all about the offense, sacrificing his own personal denseness, defense. Defense, he increases his offense die by two steps, and decreases his, the defense die by two steps as well. Uh, more advanced style, more advanced styles can break this, can break this rule, break this rule, such as having a d2 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 upwards of a d12 d12 as well as well as a d12 d12 because usually if you have a d2 d2 stance it's about something a little bit deeper than just having it as a combat thing it's not about combat at that point there's usually something else going on with it so as well as d12 d12 uh, the gun hero, the gun heroes, gun heroes will need to find, learn, or develop their own their own varieties of these varieties. So, the gun, hello phone. What do you want to tell me about style? Method? So we're gonna pretty much have to hand build this dynamite shotgun style as we go along. So we've got this. So then we have to determine the style type. Style type. There are no, there is there is no method to accurately catalog catalog every single type of style. The style developed developed in the martial world. Wars wars have been fought, been uh, been fought, and many assat and many assassins employed employed due to one style one style being superior. Inferior or inferior to others. Uh, according according to imperial auditors, auditors, auditors during the during the war, during the war there are roughly four kinds of style of styles to employ. There are roughly four, uh, four broad, broad types, types of style uh, styles employed though. 
uh, the starting st actually no we have to do so light style would be what was the first carbine invented tell me when was the first carbine invented would this be a place to smooth uh Actually, now we want to do rifle, pistol, shotgun, rifle, pistol, shotgun, ah, yes, sword. The, the four, the four genders, rifle, pistol, shotgun, sword. Because remember, kids, a sword is technically a gun in this world. Because. <laughs> What's the lowest step then? Uh, I kind of usually like to define the lowest step, which is usually D0. D2 is the lowest step regarding styles. D4 is usually the lowest, st lowest step for many, uh, except health, which is D0. No Gatling. Gatling guns, like, it's supposed to be a Wild West. No one was had, like, a handheld Gatling gun. I don't want to run into an issue with, like, Righteous Blades and Ruthless, uh, ruthless Blood and, like, Ruthless Blades and Righteous Blood. R ruthless Blades and Righteous Blood. God, I fucking hate the title of that game. Uh, where technically you can start off with, like, a fully, like, armed hand, ca like, fully armed Gatling gun in my Wuxia RPG. That, that didn't quite work. That was weird. Uh... Uh, I, yeah, okay, so rifle, rifle style, uh, emphasizing, emphasizing heavy, uh, emphasizing long range, lot runs, lanes, gunslinging, gunslinging and precise aiming, precise, and precise aim, uh, long range gunslinging and precise aim, rifle style, rifle styles are built are are perfect for uh perfect for long distance engagements engagements and and quick repositioning and quick repositioning actually no we do we'll do this a rifle, a rifle style, a rifle type style, rifle type style, uh, can add the move, uh, it would be move keyword. Yeah, we'll call it keywords for now. The rifle type style can add the move keyword for half the cop for half the cost to any, any move of uh, move, actually, uh, add the maneuver keyword to any move of their choice for half the cost. So, rifle is pretty much the light, the light style, and then we do the sword style is going to be uh, sword. The sword style, sword styles were born of an esoteric esoteric philosophy that a sword a sword is technically a gun <laughs> that a sword is technically a gun due to having a holster a holster scabbard a a trigger the handle and a high speed and a high speed metal object metal object enter entering a entering an enemy the blade uh while while well debated while well debated swordsman uh swordsman gunslinging school uh gunslinging styles are still very popular Cause don't worry, I've mastered the sword. What do you mean, draw draws deagle? <laughs> Hello, 
Here's my Smith & Wesson 500 Bone Crusher. That's not a sword. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, so... Uh, sword styles. A sword type style. I'll emphasize... Emphasizes hard-hitting... Hard-hitting, close-range combat. Close-range... Close-range combat. Uh, they may add plus one, uh, no, it'd be a plus one d4, so plus one d6 to all damaging, to all damaging checks, is that what I'm going to call them? Actually, two, to all, we're not going to call them to, to all to injure, to all to injure. Uh, they may add plus 1d6 to all two injure checks for melee combat. So if you punch someone in the face, you can choose to add this another d6. Yeah, it'd be d0 of them. Eh. Yeah, it'd be the D zero then. Uh, the exact answer for what happens if you have a D zero in something, the answer is go fuck yourself. <laughs> you aren't rolling. That's not a die anymore. You just don't have it. You just D twelve something. Hopefully, you don't get your shit rocked. Uh, let's see. Then we have to do pistol. So pistol would be stylish. Actually, unless we change, unless we change sword to stylish, emphasis high ahead, close range combat. Unless we do, let's do this. Pistol stop style, hard hitting, close range combat, because we want the idea that the pistol is going to be the useful type. Sword, uh, with the idea behind utility, a sword, a sword type style, uh, emphasizes, emphasizes utility, utility, and and straight and strange moves uh, adding a key adding a keyword costs negative one to all moves so you just add a keyword if you have the sword style you just get a negative one to the cost you however adding a move costs half the cost actually uh, but, uh they can add the maneuver keyword to any move of their choice or they can add actually they can add maneuver one maneuver one keyword to any move for free so they get something for free but to buy maneuver two or maneuver three they're going to cost more okay big think let's see emphasize so Uh, favored, favored of quick drawing, of quick drawing champions. Uh, these gun, uh, quick drawing champions, the uh, pistol style, pistol styles, pistol styles are are built around the relative short range, short range gun. Uh, gunfire exchanges followed by followed by intense intense melee combat because the idea behind a pistol style is you fan the hammer as you sprint toward the enemy with the intent to pistol whip them to death <laughs> not the sword style you're just sort of weird if you're employing sword style pistols about going up there and beating the shit out of them and or shoving the 
against Smith and Wesson Bone Collector so far up their gut and pulling the trigger four times. You know, you, you do not survive someone who is a scary pistol style man. So shotgun. Uh, actually, shotgun styles. We use shotgun styles and... Uh, the thunderous, the thunderous clack, crack uh, of a shotgun can be, can be heard across the world. And the shotgun, and the shotgun styles, styles are for the, la for those who wish to make a loud appearance, a loud appearance to to make a loud entrance to all of the to all of those who dare cross them a shotgun type style is focused on hmm. let's see so Range combat is mostly about the rifle, but that's also kind of light style. So shotgun style would be mostly about that. So if we use the idea that the shotgun style is pretty much about being kicked down the door. And it's fo is focused on loud entrances, loud entrances and direct application and direct application of, of pain. Uh, they may add a plus one d6 to all to hit to hit checks for melee combat to hit checks for melee combat or ranged combat and uh, they make two alt for melee combat or ranged combat. So these guys pistols all about getting in is kind of more consistent fights and shotguns are all about you know hitting them more consistently versus the pistols hitting harder if that makes sense that doesn't really make that much sense but i'm working with it i'll probably change this is why it gets its own little document so i don't have to think about it at all so i'll keep this i'm like i'm not a hundred percent on this yet uh A style, a style chooses uh, chooses one of these as the basic type of. And there's the basic style type. Style type. They are not. They are not um, forced to adhere here to the weapon of choice, weapon of choice of the style. But many who practice, to many who practice of such. Practice, practice such a style, such a style, employ such weapons. So, and then we move on to Pistol, relative shotgun, sword. Okay, so by Jongye, by dynamite shotgun style. Ironically, ironically uses a a pistol a pistol type as as the basis as Jingyi and Zhongyi and Zhongyi 
focuses, focuses primarily on closing the distance with rapid with rapid danger with rapid dangerous movement dangerous movements while while dealing as much damage as possible he wants to unload both barrels into your fucking chest and then beat you to death with the rifle that that is his that is his strategy yeah by strategy currently emphasizes me charging at you and killing you i'll use my secret technique of this gun i found so moves all right i'm gonna do the basics of the moves so i'm probably gonna actually we have to do keywords no wait then we have to do keywords maybe we have to do stances and then probably weapon arts this is where all the points are going to come in. I might have to do this F on Friday. Because I think I, I knew this was going to be a bitch to do. So. So we'll do moves. A gun hero. Gun hero style. A gun hero style. Allows them to understand. And employ various moves. These allow the gun hero. These allow the gun hero to affect the battlefield. Battlefield and those around and those around them in extreme ways. Most mo uh, moves moves are primarily primarily used in com primarily used in combat, but more strange and mystical styles. Styles may use them for may use certain ability certain moves outside of combat. Hey everybody, I have learned the mystic art of wall breaking punch in which I punch a wall and it breaks in half. Doesn't work on people, but it definitely works on on things. Ah, okay, three, two. Let's see, moves outside, mystical styles may use certain moves outside of combat. Uh, when design, when designing a move, the, uh, the, actually, the gun hero, the gun hero will spend, will spend their, their style points on each of them. Let's, style points on each of them, paying a cost for each of them up to their up to their max of 35 style points any remaining style point and the remaining style points at the end of at the end of this section at the end of this the end of the at the end of end of this will be directly converted converted into enlighten enlightenment for for advancement so if you choose to not actually invest everything, you are just going to invest it straight into in, to enlightenment. Which is, if there's like three points left over and you really don't want to change anything, just convert it into fucking enlightenment. That's what you do. I, it's not exactly the most complex thing in the world, but I think that's relatively fair. Being like I. I'm gonna probably have to put a footnote. Actually, I should put a footnote in here. I'll put it in here right now, so I don't forget about it. Uh, footnote: Be reasonable with be reasonable with this. If a play if a player chooses to chooses to invest in absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing, to get for uh, to get free enlighten, uh, enlightenment early, then make sure to inform them inform them that get uh that getting any of these of bonus uh any of these bonuses or styles will be vastly more expensive later on so kind of the idea of like spend it now while you have it because getting any of these later on is going to be a lot more expensive. It's not going to be really as valuable, you could say, as efficient as just getting everything now. So just do it. Just do your fucking job. It's not that complicated, people. 
uh, I, I'm giving you this because I am a fun person. I want to make sure that you know if you're three points off that you can st you get something out of it. Not for you to abuse it, because if you abuse it, I'm gonna punch you in the fucking face. Every goddamn time. Uh, let's see, we want to do that. Yeah, you the correct size. And Tino, which I'm still not 100% on. So, here's where things get a little bit complicated. So, we will break it down into offensive moves. Defensive moves. And then we'll break it down. And each of these sections is going to have, we're going to call them application dice, even though they'll call it attack dice, defense dice, whatever, uh, keywords, which are just going to be actually no application dice to, to hit, to, to injure. And then our raw damage, and then our keywords, and defensive moves are going to be the application dice, the two defend, uh, two dodge, and then the two resist. And then we're going to have our keyword. And we're going to have keywords. Actually, we can probably add in protection, protection, and then keywords. But the idea that protection is pretty much going to act as your armor. Like, you you can invest in a move to just a shit ton of protection. And that's you just taking a punch directly to the face. You're not trying to dodge it. You're not trying to resist any of the damage. You're just getting punched directly in the face for a shit ton of light. And you're just not going to take damage up to a certain amount. But it's going to be really stupid expensive. Where it's just like, this is not really efficient in the long run. Because of how... I want some of the um, status effects to work. Because, like, I want uh, the idea of combat to be a little bit more... Uh, how do I want to say this? I don't necessarily want you just spamming move, like, a single move repeatedly. Because how the, how I think I want to employ how the status effects work. Like, one of the big things is that status effects, I want to feel impactful to the situation at hand. And it's not going to be like, I'm going to punch you and you're going to have the stun effect or something. There's going to be things like that, but it's like, here's a disable strike. As long as I hit you, you, you know, as long as, let's say, I hit you for something, I'm going to do no damage. However, if I hit you, I'm going to disable, like, the next move, like, you can't use the last move you used. So if you're like, haha, I am immortal, I have super protection punch you in the face for disable and then suddenly you can't do that or it's like hey you know you don't like none of the effects work on this or some things like that that's kind of the idea where it's like you need to have a few options to work with because and have some things kind of like like here's my ace my ace in the hole you know, you know the ace in my ace in my sleeve where it's like hey you know we're fighting and stuff and i you know, kick you, and I draw back and draw my gun, and I start shooting at you, and you're tr shooting at me. And we've been going at each other, and we're like, haha, you have nothing left. And they're like, haha, I do have something. And then you pull out another gun or something. It's kind of that idea, you know, that kind of back and forth, and like, let me use my super secret techniques. All while doing like just basic combat moves. Which is, again, a thing that you can do just to fuck with your opponent. Like, I don't want to reveal my, my special move, or like... Like, oh, hey, if I have a thing, if I get punched, if I get hit with something and, like, the next move you use is going to be disabled, it's like, oh, okay, I'm just going to attack you then. Like, I'm just going to jump and hit you and kick you in the fucking face. Yeah, like, it's not a move, and it's not get, it can't get disabled, so I automatically just kind of ignore it. But I'm not doing being as efficient. So, we want to do offensive moves. So I'm just going to write, I'm going to write the both of these sections and I'm probably going to call it a day because I just need, because I'm just going to do tables. So there's going to be little tables. It's going to be a lot of little stuff that I just need to get to sit down and do. It's not going to be fun. So a offensive moves. A, a style, a style often has a, actually, what did I, here? 
uh, offense. Uh, considered by many, uh, considered by many styles to be the best defense. Uh, be the best defense offense. It's considered by many styles to be the best defense. Quickly closing the quickly closing the gap, or unloading into an unsuspecting foe. Thing foe, but to to injure, maim and generally disable their target offensive offensive moves when uh, offensive moves are about are about trying to disable trying to uh, incapacitate 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 the the enemy incapacitate the enemy whether that's knocking them out, knocking them out with a ricochet shot, ricochet shot, or, or uh, actually with a ricochet shot, or breaking their neck, or breaking their neck with a, with a snap kick. And then we're going to do the application dice. Then we're going to pretty much keep the same thing for defensive moves. Uh, defense, uh, live to see another day is understood. Stood by many to be Let's see. Let's see. Another day is understood to be to be the pinnacle of the pinnacle of combat. Defensive defensive styles uh, protect actually protecting oneself protecting oneself in the heat of combat. Heat of combat is the most reliable most reliable way of actually of actually emerging victorious. Defensive move. Defensive moves are are attempting to either mitigate the the attacker the attacker's uh, violence or or turning it against them, a comma or turning it against them. The these can be raw defense. Raw, uh, raw defensive. Raw. Actually, these can be nimble dodges, nimble dodges, uh, devastating counters, counter strikes, or even a, or even simply tank, uh, tanking a blow, tanking a blow without flinching. So, and then will be the same thing, which we'll do. This is what it is. This is how we're going to do it. All right. All right. I'm going to work on this. That's going to be my goal for Friday. My goal for Friday is I want to get the offensive and defensive moves done. And we are on, we're making good progress. I think we, I think I got a little bit, a little bit sidetracked by working on some of these things that it's kind of kind of uh, dragged dragged some time back but should be all right here and I'm feeling pretty confident I'm feeling pretty confident about our time generally speaking though if we scroll up here to this uh, we are done with all of these for character options now we have to do style creation and I'm going to hope to at least get this into a good place by, f like, roughly done by Friday. Uh, though I might spend Friday just doing style creation. If it's if I get stuck doing style creation on Friday, uh, expect next week to just hammer out these as, f like, mon Monday, Wednesday, and just go fucking ham on these. Just 
go as fast as as hard as possible to the point where I might actually skip equipment and the exterior mechanics section, depending on how far or how little it takes. And lore is pretty much done. I don't really need to worry about that. But yeah, feeling feeling good. Feeling all right. I will attempt, attempt, mind you, to get most things done. And once that is, we'll be good. So I'm looking at probably five episodes at this point. So Godspeed, good luck. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always available on my server. And I'm going to see if I can't find anything more on this Far West thing. So see you on Friday, everybody. Don't forget to watch the video.